No, but well, you're, you're moving faster than a speeding bullet. Ah. Who we have here? Either these are extraterrestrials, or this is an audience full of fun and delightful audience members. <laughs> <laughs> well, for once, you're actually making sense, kid. Excuse me. Well, I'm Agent <laughs> Kid Culver, FBI, and this is my partner. Agent Elena Bailey. We're with the FBI. Yes, you already Specifically, said that. Specifically, the X-Files. There it is. <laughs> Could one of you tell me something that you were never afraid of as a child? Uh, sort of like maybe socks or... Dogs. 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 Oh. We did puppies this morning. You did? I wasn't there. No. <laughs> we solved Let's that something else. Birthdays. 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 <laughs> Who was afraid of a birthday? What a treat. Birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Are you playing a slideshow? I'm okay. It's, I'm okay. Uh, whoopsie daisy, that is gonna be bad. Uh, actually, I was just, I was just, uh, I was just putting one together. Excuse me. Please, 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 please. This is my desk. <laughs> Speaking of which, where's my desk? You know, we worked together for so long. And well, I did some rearranging in the office a bit. I figured it. I figured it might be, might be fun if your desk was. 
And then, and then I decided, well, that's not right, because obviously you'd see it right now if it was there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be working on. <laughs> yes. Look at this. Because it was your birthday, I decided to look into birthdays a little bit. <laughs> Looking at clowns, Looking at uh, uh, people popping out of cakes, and then I got, and then I got wondering when did the beginning of birthdays happen? Not just when a person was born. Because I was when... going to make that. Of course you statement. were. Statement. Of course you were. You're always, you're always doing that, making statements. <laughs> what I was going to say. <laughs> what I was going to say was when did the custom of celebrating one's birthday begin? Well, I have the answer to that. Oh, you do? It's a pagan holiday. Ritual, I should say. It really serves no purpose than to act as a milestone. When the Mayans started notching down time, they thought it was important to celebrate their work here on the Earth. Am I right? See? I had to go to ask Jeeves for that. (laughs) 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 I love asking Jeeves. I feel like that will last for a long time. I don't think there's going to be anything that's ever going to replace it. I fully agree with you on one thing, and it's that. (laughs) You have (laughs) nailed. AOL, what a snappy thing. Well, why were you looking at birthdays? I told you, I was looking at it. It's it's really so fast. So, because of my birthday, you were looking at birthdays for... I was curious. The last time I celebrated my birthday was when I was uh, 11 years old. (laughs) It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. You got mail. I have... See? AOL. You know, that's funny, you've never told me whenever it's your birthday. Yeah. I don't know your birthday. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, March 16th. Look. Look. This is a man who's died of a brain hemorrhage, as if it was a it was an aneurysm, but not the same, not the same categorically. It, was, it looks like it wasn't an aneurysm at all. Someone emailed you an X file. <laughs> Dear, <laughs> Dear Kid it's Culver, the way of the future. Uh, I, I'd like to read this. Dear Kid Culver, I, I do apologize. This is so informal in an email, but I've heard about you from the various TV shows and whatnot. Just last week, something very disturbing happened to my husband. He was turning forty, and we threw a surprise party for him. But. I don't think it was a brain aneurysm. As blood started oozing out his eyes, his ears, his mouth, and formed some kind of, some kind of image on the floor beneath his feet. Anyway, I'd like you to come out to Maine to take a look and maybe investigate our case. The sheriff, Sheriff Stone, isn't necessarily interested. Thank you. Oh, you're still reading? <laughs> I just was merely astounded at the fact that I was just in Maine yesterday. That seems to be where this correspondence is taking place from. And the fact that you give any validity to a clearly grieving woman's claims. Please, look. What do you mean, do you give any validity to it? Bailey, you're cold. This woman is clearly in pain. She needs somebody to look into what's going on here. I stated that she was grieving. What, in what world would that say? I'm... How, how did she get my email? What's the matter? She said from the TV shows that you so gratefully offer your services to. That's true. Sure. That's true. I'm pretty flippant with, uh, with my contacts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I guess I have to book us. We're going back to Maine. Yeah, we are. You know, I didn't get to have a lobster roll on the seaside, so I'll make sure I do it this time.
out with some friends, but that's okay. Roderick. Poor Roderick. <laughs> yes. Really? But please stay in the front yard. Oh, Mom, this is the front yard. Sorry, I know, and I'm setting up a lovely croquet set for you. Mom, 17 year olds don't play croquet. Oh, well, you better learn how. Oh! <laughs> Queen set, Maine. 8.05 p.m. <laughs> I'll leave the porch lights on for you. It's too cold for croquet! Put on your winter coat! That's not gonna help! <laughs> Mom! I'm in the house. <laughs> uh, and so are these people. Hello. Special Agent Kit Culver, FBI. This is my partner. Elena Bailey. <laughs> I didn't really know you were the partner. Yes, I always do. She's the, uh, the smarter side of my better half. <laughs> go, go back outside and set up the croquet set. Do it now! Excuse me. <laughs> I should have inferred. He's my stepson. Stepson. Given to understand that you lost your husband? Yes, just last week. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. We all were having a, a, a birthday party, a surprise birthday party, and everything was supposed to go as planned. And he was a perfectly healthy individual. He didn't have any kind of heart disease or high cholesterol or blood pressure. And the strange thing is, he started bleeding out of every orifice, and it, it, it seemed, and call me crazy, but it, it seemed like the blood started dripping down his, his face and, and pulling onto the... You said Roderick, what? I'm not the one knocking on our own door! <laughs> <laughs> it's another law official. Yeah. <laughs> Sherry, how's it going? She came in here to check how things are uh, going on. Uh, hello, uh, Sheriff Stone. Sheriff Stone. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure as well. I get your name. Oh, you haven't seen him on TV? <laughs> <laughs> Special Agent Kit Culver, FBI. <laughs> oh, fancy boys down at the barrel. How are you guys doing? Go outside. Real mom. <laughs> Lance, you were not invited. Invited over? Yes. Uh, this is uh, police business, Sherry. I was just coming over to uh, give you an update. I haven't found anything new. That's not the ordinary. Um, <laughs> Very insightful and helpful. <laughs> small town here we try to do our uh, best due diligence on cases like this well what have you found some Mexican for a brain injury and um be brought on by some sort of uh stress or a uh, shock to the system like a like a surprise like uh sherry said here it was uh you're uh Lance, how can you say that You've seen aneurysms, I've seen aneurysms. It happened to my first husband. This was no aneurysm. <laughs> 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 Mrs. Cranston, I think you've had enough stress for this week. Wouldn't you agree, Sheriff Stone? Yeah, I, I would agree. Um, sorry for my in intrusion. Uh, I'm going to help Roderick pick up the croquet set. Help yourself to tea. We have English breakfast, chamomile, mint, and cream. Thank you, Mrs. Cranston. <laughs> Sheriff Stone, I'm sure you can see we have a very distraught <laughs> and uh, here. And while this may be an open and closed case, we don't need to grieve her any further. That's exactly my point. This sort of thing happens, it's, it's here to lay the rest to rest. I couldn't agree more. And uh, that's why I don't want to stir up the pot here. She had her first husband die of some brain aneurysm as it was, those, that case was also inconclusive. So she has a history of husbands who die of brain aneurysms. If a history is two husbands, then yes. 
Is there uh, blood drippings of the same report in that report? Similar effects? We can check the labs and get What's interesting to me is she said in that email that there was a, a pattern, a symbol, left on the floor. Do you see one now? Well, not exactly, but I'm wondering maybe if it's some some sort of symbol came out of this. This is what we were told, and this is why it's an X file. If it no, was no, just see, the brain aneurysm, just the thing, no, no offense, no offense to you and your federal agents. I'm sure you know your own business. But we're a small town. We don't like spooking people, so you can go about all your uh, Ouija board stuff or whatever it is you do. I just ask that you keep a lid on it, because there's there is sensitive people here, and like a lady that just lost her husband. So I just ask that we keep us all on the DL. That means down low. I haven't heard that before. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Agent Bailey, uh, Chief Culver. I'll be uh, asking for those reports from the safety standpoint. Come down to the office anytime, and I'd be happy to help you. Looking forward to being charmed by you again. <laughs> I was kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pleasure is all mine. I'll show myself out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Bailey, could you uh, find me a pair of scissors? I think there's one on the counter. Quickly. Well, yeah, I went over there. I got some mint tea. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I find interesting this picture over here. All right. Let me ask you. Does this look like Roderick? Does this look like... <clears throat> what did you say? Roderick? Roderick. Roderick, that, of course. <laughs> it's his third birthday in the picture, clearly, but... Look like yes, the circles under his eyes are quite dark, <laughs> and that's especially usual, unusual to have for a child. It's not very efficient. <laughs> it's just scissors. It's, you know. What's that look like to you? What's that look like to you? If I'm not mistaken. That's a pentagram. <laughs> I understand we're behind schedule a little bit. I promise you, uh, Mayor, that as soon as I'm able to complete all of this work, I'll I'll see to it that everything's cleaned up. We're just running out of time, is all. We'll have most of the grid completed within the month. The, uh, the new... Power grid that we've been setting up. Uh, Carrington Industries has made sure that all of the new grid for the entire phone networks... Yes, uh, it's to help our modems. Go online faster. Yes. This is good. Are we going to keep getting these power surges? Carl. My constituents have been upset. Check on the power surges. Check on the power surges. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to need more time, Mayor. This isn't a simple process. This takes thousands of hours of work and, and millions of 
gigawatts of power. <laughs> there you go. There's power. Quinsett, Maine is a quaint historical town. I want to bring us forward into the modern age. I just wonder if our electrical grid can even handle it. Millions of gigawatts? Sorry. That seems like a million too many. They're exactly the same this time. It's exactly the same. They haven't moved at all. It's gonna happen again. <laughs> all right, I'll not be there in a minute. It's too late, sir. I just guess I wouldn't want to be anywhere within a Thank you, already, Carl. So that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> the next few minutes. Carl! It's gonna... Carl! Oh, I get it! I get it! I, get it. <laughs> I promise you, Mayor. Mayor Templeton. Yes. <laughs> I'll take Maid into the future. Doctor. Uh, Doctor Sangen. I. Oh, I've been getting a migraine might want to wear this. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, every night I've been getting these migraines. I don't know what it is. It's the power surges or ugh, stress of the dog. Oh. <laughs> Careful now. There's a bit of a shimmy going on here. Let's get back to the truck. Everything's all right. <laughs> this is completely <laughs> normal. <laughs> <laughs>
Was Similar. it somebody's birthday? I don't think so. This is the mayor's birthday. I don't think it is. Can't be expected or what? <laughs> Power surge. Uh, don't know what happened. But there seemed to be some sort of power surge that melted the mayor. <laughs> Mel melted. Sorry, what? Yeah, Gone. she was um, she was melted. <laughs> Is that the official medical term? <laughs> uh, as you may realize, that this is a small town, and maybe it doesn't seem like official to you, but um, we talk pretty plainly here. Hey, I can respect a doctor that says something's melted when it's melted. <laughs> <laughs> Still, uh, if you want to do one of your uh, gross autopsies, then I, uh, I will understand. Well, with the term melted, I would assume that there's nothing to autopsy. Well, no, there's definitely left. something to autopsy. Right, then I would be interested in doing that. Do you want to do one of your gross autopsies? Yeah, I'd like to. Uh, you said power surge? Yeah, power surge. I imagine that's related. What's interesting is that all of her husbands worked at Carrington. Is that interesting? Or is that the concept? Yes, it's, a, it's, the, it's the power company in town. Well, I imagine most people probably work at Carrington, seeing as Quinsett is a very small, small town. town. Most everybody does work there, but not everybody. <laughs> I suppose uh, you didn't want to check that out tonight. The body's already at the morgue. Pizza or autopsy? I know which one you'll choose. <laughs> you you want a know. slice of pizza, Sheriff? I'd love a slice of pizza. What kind of pizza are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Famous Maine is for its lobster. I grew up by the ocean. I love it. <laughs> I'll be on my way. Let me know if you guys need anything, anything at all, and uh, maybe we can get coffee or something. <laughs> Talk about all this. Good night. <laughs> Thank you as always, sure. Yeah, thanks for the pizza. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I just might take him up on a charming man. Mm. Well, of course, we'd go together. Well, we would. It's funny the way you were looking at him, he could have fooled me. You notice. Come. I always notice. <laughs> Tummy. 
Or what? I assume. Ah, uh, wow. You know, what was it? What was it? Here, catch. I don't care, get out. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm gonna go get some lobster pizza, you know? <laughs> 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 November 27th, 1073. <laughs> 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 that is the European way to tell dates. <laughs> I'm over that part. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to give this a shot. Um, Piers, I am looking here at the head. What is left of the head it seems to be completely expunged of the brain. Uh, as I traverse my fingers to what should be the spine, it is clear that everything has been clearly melted. There is no other medical term besides that one. <laughs> I am making my way down to what I can only assume is the tummy. <laughs> There's a firmness. There's something that could be considered singed to skin, but it's not charred in the way I'm normally <coughs> used to seeing. And there is a pattern of some sort. And I can't help but see a cupcake. <laughs> Sir, I don't know. Melting the body down to conceal evidence, why? It just feels like we're too close to political assassination here. I'm uncomfortable. I assure you, Carl, there's absolutely nothing you need to worry about. Now, shh, shh. What is it? Nothing. I thought I saw someone over by the fence. We should go back inside. What's left of the lung weighs 0.1 pound. Come on, baby, pick up. Come on. Second lung. <laughs> yes? Oh, Bailey, thank God. Hey, it's me. <laughs> You're gonna be proud, maybe. Okay. Lay it on me. I'm in Carrington. Carrington? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why are you in Carrington? Shh, shh, shh. Because, because. I've got an idea. We didn't say you'd go to Carrington. I know, but what was I gonna do? You, you, you know I hate these autopsy things. Have you seen anything? Are there, like, you know, cupcake pentagrams on them or anything? <laughs> yes. Yeah? There is in the stomach area. Uh, she was clearly singed at a high voltage. It's the only assumption I can make right now. I'd have to go further into it, but I, I won't mince words with you. There's a cupcake in front of me. <laughs> like a real one? <laughs> <laughs> or just a pentagram? Pentagram. Got it. Great. Go. Look, you realize where the place of death was for the mayor, right? Where you are right now? That's right. You want me to be there? No, 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 no. You do, you do, you do your thing. <laughs> well, as soon as I finish the autopsy, I'm gonna head back to the motel. Okay. Please be careful. Careful. Careful is my favorite name. <laughs> <laughs>
Just sitting on the porch, not doing anything wrong. Sit here, can you move your chair forward so I don't have to look over my shoulder at you? <laughs> like a bat hanging behind you. No, no. Sorry, I yelled at you. You <laughs> <laughs> must be in their cocooning scene. <laughs> I don't care about any of that. <laughs> John Halpert. And John also worked at the same company your father did. Karen? Yes. And I was going to tell the agent, but I wanted to tell you first. Why don't we you tell the people you called here? help investigate why my because I was scared. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> oh, not interrupt anything out here. Lance, you were not invited. All the pretty night out. Here's a cicadas for if you need help. They're in their cocooning season. Awesome. <laughs> Well, why don't you take a little run around the block? I can't. My mom won't let me leave the porch. I'll give you permission. Uh, your dad died by the state. <laughs> yes, that's a legal thing. I don't understand any adults in this town. <laughs> <laughs> He's a nice kid. What do you think? Yeah, he's really nice. Yeah, I think so. You know, uh, <laughs> sure, you know that we're a we're a special community here. Yes, I know. We bring outsiders in. We know that there's um, certain standards in reproduction. Reproduction. Slipped out of my mouth. Freudian slip. That's what they call it. <laughs> <coughs> Speaking of the boy, he's a, he's a havesy. <laughs> You're not going to recruit him to that place. It ain't about recruiting, it's about being born here. And I'm sure you know this more than any of us. We keep to our own. You know that there was a risk bringing those... because I said no to you when you invited me out to pizza, lobster pizza. That was a long time ago. Yeah, we were 20. <laughs> Ever so many years ago. 
whenever when I ask you, you're looking out and looking out just like this. Looking out at this pig sitting next to you. And she out and eats it. She didn't think about it. <laughs> 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 you never got back to me. I met someone else. Yeah, I noticed that's just the damnedest thing. Oh! oh. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> Technology's amazing. It's amazing that I can just call somebody from anywhere. It's so clunky. Can you pull up the antenna, please? How? <laughs> he is taking the lives of people. He's taking the blood, and for every pentagram cupcake thing that is made, his power grows. He's going to be coming, and he's going to be coming soon. Call me crazy, but we don't have time. Who's <laughs> coming? I don't understand. Gluttony. Jeez. The personification of gluttony That's is coming the to demon, yes. Queenton, Maine. <laughs> That's correct, yes, I don't. There's Great, no, I'll see you at Carrington. I'm a 17 year old boy with me. Pull Goodbye! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope you want what you want. Electromagnetic opposite polars. <laughs> <laughs> All I need to do now is flip the switch and say a few incantations. Oh, no, you don't! What? Freeze. FBI. Hey, it's that FBI agent from earlier. That's right, Kick Culver is my name. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to do anything. He's not coming tonight, okay? <laughs> I'm afraid you don't understand something, oh. Agent Culver. Oh. Gluttony is already here. Look around you. This society is gluttonous. <laughs> they consume and consume. Now they consume information. You can reach up to the heavens and pull down information. For what? For your own selfish needs. Much as I appreciate your social commentary. <laughs> I'm afraid the only difference between gluttony that humans practice and the gluttony that the demon practices is that the people aren't actually going to consume everybody. Can I just say that I'm not as into this part of it? There's just very limited employment opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> call, call the police. Call backup. Charlie, stay where you are. I you got a choice, Carl. The other ah! Yes. There it is. Ah! I need you to stay here. Study is hard. If anything goes wrong, call the police. Here's my phone. Be careful. That's my middle name. <laughs> Nah, I wish you could get out, I really do. Oh. Oh. Run! No, run! Oh. 
What's happening? What's happening? Hey, 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 you talk to me. I swear to God, if you shot my partner. Get out of the way, go. Look who we got, the whole family here. Everyone's about to be sick. God, it's yeah. Is this because I didn't go to coffee with you? We didn't have any time.
It's October. It's October. It's not March in Don't you play with my head? <laughs> Are you looking for the other 50 grand? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Yes, I am. Maybe take a closer look at my badge. I was... <laughs> yeah, just blow off small town cop. I love you. Is that right? So, she just put a not... shot into your badge. Hey, I'm not that good of a shot. I kind of doubt it. You just gotta come out. Come out wherever you are. Ugh. Gosh, you know, you're right. I'm not that good of a shot. But it doesn't mean I won't try. <laughs> Are you gonna shoot? Maybe. Are you gonna join the forces of darkness? <laughs> oh, gosh, that sounds so tempting. <laughs> you can stop, you do nothing. The rest of the Pack of Rams will be destroyed. You just got off to a long start, is all. When we start again, maybe get some shrimp pizza. <laughs> shot a demon in the face. <laughs> it looked a lot like my sister. You know, normally I'd say something scientific that would disprove something that you were saying and we'd banter about it. We'd get a kick or a laugh or two. But right now I'm inclined to stay Do for your country. I assure you, Captain, we'll do the best we can. 